What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more content for ranked battles in Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we are pairing up Executor with Indeedee and Karion and hopefully grab you guys some wins. Executor pairs up perfectly with Indeedee due to that psychic terrain and expanding force and it pairs up with Karion due to its chlorophyll ability doubling its speed in the sun. Let's talk a little bit more about Executor because it has the choice specs and the psychic terror type. Pair that up with Indeedee and Expanded Force, this thing can be one-shotting pretty much any Pokemon. Executor's other three moves, we're rocking out with Psychic, Grass Knot, and H Power to give us a little bit of coverage and a little bit of stab moves on top of that. Other Pokemon on today's team features Karidon as a restricted Pokemon. We already mentioned him a little bit, but this one has the Fighting Terror with Collision Course, Crunch, Iron Head, and Protect. Just such a strong Pokemon and a great Pokemon for weather control. We already mentioned we have Indeedee, but we also have Torkoal, Walking Wake, and Fluttermane. Fluttermane and Walking Wake both thrive with Coridon due to their Protosynthesis ability and Torkoal is going to be a perfect Pokemon to counter Trick Room squads and just to do big damage in the sun. Guys, you want to run the scene for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner and if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match showcasing this Executor team. Going up against the dreaded Ice Rider Calyrex Trick Room team with Farigraph, Amoongus, Incineroar, Ursu, and last but not least, Raging Bolt. Now, Amoongus, obviously super annoying in Trick Room, so we're just going to bring our Torkoal here, because if they want to pop Trick Room, our Torkoal can really get after it, start doing some crazy big-time damage. But who should we lead here to start to try to get after things? I mean, chances are they're going to lead Incineroar, Farigraph, or Incineroar, Ice Rider, Calyrex, and just look to do some crazy damage. But I wonder who I should lead here. I mean, I could stop Fake Out with Indeedee here, which wouldn't be bad, and then I could go into Executor, which also wouldn't be bad. I mean, I don't know. Maybe we should just bring Indeedee in the back end and maybe just go into a Pokemon like Walking Wake and maybe Twinkle just to set this on here, or even our Coridon. Because Walking Wake can do some big time damage, especially with what kind of Terror you got. You got the Steel Terror. That's okay. Um, hmm. You got Booster Energy here, Fluttermane as well, which is going to go into Speed. I could taunt you. Taunt could be a good play. You know, we're going to go here. We are going to go in with Cried on here. We're going to bring Torkoal in the back end. And last but not least, we are going to bring Executor. I like this. I like Taunt on our Fluttermane. It could be really good for us. They have no Follow Me Pokemon. I mean, they have Rage Powder with... Mm, that could be a little tough. They have Rage Powder with that Amoongus. But I'm going to kind of hope that they go Incineroar and Frigograph and try to go for Fake Out. Because at that point, we could just taunt the uh, Frigograph, not have to worry about Fake Out, and then get off some turns, right? So let's see. Who you got cooking here? It's going to be a Moongus Rage Bowl. Honestly, don't mind that too much. Spore looking rather annoying, but I kind of like this lead. I kind of like this lead. So we get the Aura Calcum Pulse coming out here. Protosynthesis is going to pop for our Speed Boost. And from here, our Moongus probably gets just going to look to Spores, right? We don't have Fire Moves, which kind of stinks, right? It does kind of stink that we don't have any fire moves on this Coridon, but I think we should be fine. Maybe we're just going to rip a Moonblast into you. And honestly, just a collision course. We might double down into that slot. You could protect here. We do have the Fighting Terra. I am just going to rip a collision course into this slot. We're going to hope a Moongus terrestrializes or something like that. Kind of gets off that grass typing, or maybe just protects. Rage Powder would kind of suck, but I doubt it goes for Rage Powder. Especially sitting here with Karadon on the field. I just don't really see it just like staying in here. I really don't. Because a lot of the Karadons just rock fire moves, so I feel like they're going to think that, hey, they're dropping Flare Blitz or something, and they're going to either Terrasalize or swap. I would hope they swap, right? Terrasalize could be eh, because then they're just going to spore me. And they do swap. Awesome. Lovely. What are you going to go into from here? Incineroar? Most likely, right? We don't have the, uh, there you go, Calyrex. That swap makes no sense, but we don't have the clear end, which kind of stinks for us. I kind of like where we're sitting here, because he's going to end up terrestrializing. And if that's fairy, oh man, that could be a little tough, because we're going for a collision course here. We are going for a collision course. Chances are this is fairy, right? No, it's electric. We don't mind that. We don't mind electric. I was going to say, fairy kind of neutralizes our collision course damage. Let's see what he ends up doing. No thunderclap comes out here. We end up dropping a nice moon blast. Give me a special attack drop. We do get it. That's huge. That's huge, and Collision Course is going to also follow through here. The Collision Course, chunking up some nice damage. Almost picking up the KO, which is huge. He's going to go for a Draco Meteor, which we dodge. Woo! We dodge a nice little Draco Meteor. We dodge a nice lovely Draco Meteor. Now, from here, I could go for Taunt. 
I could double down into him. I mean, taunt's not a bad play here. So I think I'm thinking I'm just gonna taunt. And honestly, just go for a, another collision course to try to finish off you. I think I'm cool with that. We probably should have tried taunting the Moogus turn one, but this actually works fine. This should work fine. You could be going for a Thunderclap. I really wonder what they're going to do. And they're going to withdraw back into a Moogus, hopefully. So we can taunt this thing. I hope it's back into a Moogus. It's going to be Incineroar. So he's going to intimidate me. No big deal. Are you going for Thunderclap? You are going to go for a Thunderclap into my Fluttermane slot. This is fine because we're taunting this turn. The taunt's going to fly here. Um, and we're going to get rid of this Raging Bolt. So that's a big time KO for us. Raging Bolt just being dead. I mean, we still have Torkoal in the back end, which is good. We still have Executor with that as well. Um, hmm. I don't want to play this. I mean, I have Ancient Power. Nice little coverage move. Psychic's going to be great up against Amoongus. Um, can't Rage Powder or Sport Executor either. Not bad so far. Not bad so far. So let's see who they end up bringing out here. It's got to be a fake out here. It's got to be a, a Trick Room. It's got to be Calvin, actually, right? I mean, we're going to taunt whoever they throw out here. It's going to be Calyrex. It is going to be Calyrex. So we're going to at least try to get off a taunt here. And I am, I am going to go for a collision course just to try to KO this uh, Incineroar. But yeah, taunt is 100% our play. So we're going to go taunt here. We're going to go for a collision course. They don't have terror either. I mean, I know we're minus one. But I mean, if you fake me out, you fake me out. And you are going to fake me out. Okay, that's fine. The fake out pops through here. We're going to go for that taunt. We just can't really allow him to set up trick. If you want to go for Glacial Lance here, so be it. I just think we're sitting in a good spot. Go for Trick Room. Now you go for Glacial Lance. So that's, that's a little bit smart. The Glacial Lance will KO Karada. It keeps my Flutter Main alive, which we love. So Flutter Main alive. He is plus one now, which is a tad bit scary. Just a little scary. And I mean, is Torkoal going to be your play? Torkoal out in the sun is type nice. Trying to go for a Flamethrower, maybe? Yeah, I'm cool with this. I'm cool with this. Executor doesn't really need the sun. We just need to get rid of this Calyrex. With one turn left in the sun, right? Two turns left in the sun. Okay, that's plenty. That's plenty. So we know Flamethrower will probably KO you, right? Flamethrower will probably KO you. So I think just going for Moonblast here and following through with Flamethrower is in our best interest. I mean, we could Terrasalize just to get that fire boost. I'm trying to think what he could pot potentially do. Do we really need the fire boost? Do we really need it? That's the real question. I'm gonna do it. I am gonna do it. Actually, should we save it for Executor? What's your terror type, Executor? I don't think we need it. I don't think we need it. We're not gonna Thrasalize. We're not gonna Thrasalize. Moonblast is gonna fly here into Incineroar. Do some nice damage. Get a special attack drop, which is absolutely nothing. And Knockoff's gonna fly in here to KO us. So he's probably going for a high horse power, I would think. And I'm really hoping my Torkoal can survive this, right? Survive it. Or dodge it. Either or. You dodge it. That, that's fine by me. Flamethrower is now going to follow through. This is KO. It should, right? 1 HP? 1 HP? You're joking, right? One HP. One! One, one HP? One HP. Oh man, this is tough. This is a tough call for me now. I know my executor outspeeds everybody, and I think we have the choice into a psychic move just to get rid of a Moongus. Oh man, that hurts the soul. That hurts the soul. We are gonna choice into a psychic move. Actually, no, we're not. We're gonna choice into a rock move. We're gonna go into ancient power. We're gonna go into ancient power here. It's going to be best for getting rid of Incineroar, so I'm going to get rid of you. And then on top of that, I am just going to erupt. We're just going to erupt here. Let's see what he does here. Ancient Power is going to finish you off. Wow, 1 HP this thing lived on. 1 HP. We choice into Ancient Power. We chose not to choice into Psychic because we do have Twerkle on the field who can do some damage with, uh, with what's it called. And I don't know why I didn't Terrasalize him. I just sold the match. I sold the match. I just sold this match. Unless it's KOs. Actually, this has a shot at KO. We might win this match. Oh, yeah, we're going to win this match. Never mind. We didn't sell the match. 
We did not sell the match. We almost did, to be honest. But that works out fine. So it's just Amoogus versus Torkoal, and yeah, we should win this one, no problem. Just Terrifier, go for flamethrowers. They can't Terrasalize either. Man, I really thought I sold that match. I definitely should have Terrasalized our Executor there. Because, I mean, we still have Terra. But, yeah, I think that was my whole plan. I kind of just forgot to do it. Because <laughs> I was sitting there with Torkoal. I was just like, should I Terrasalize him into fire? And then I checked uh, uh, Executor. And I was just like, no, we might need to Terrasalize him because, obviously... Incineroar was on the field, and then I just kind of totally forgot to do it. But from here, we're going to Terrasalize our Torkoal, go into full fire, and we're just going to throw a Flamethrower, which one Flamethrower might be able to finish it off. I'm still kind of upset that that uh, Ice Rider Calyx lived on 1 HP. Just absurd. It's just my luck, right? It's just my luck. The next time, I should probably Terrasalize. But hey, everything works out perfectly. Executor's out speeding. He's going to go for a Spore, which is... Oh, man. Oh, man. Going for Spores now? Got speed in my turtle. It's kind of weird how they never popped the trick room, but it was kind of on our end because we were just taunting all their trick room users. But everything should work out fine here. I mean, I just don't see this Amoongus being able to do enough damage. Like, how much is this doing? Like, come on, man. 22 damage? 22 damage? Ah, man. We should be fine here. Just keep spamming Flamethrower. They should just cancel battle. No, they're going for the win here. They are going for the win here. My Torkoal still asleep. They are going for the win. They are going for this win all day long. I think one Flamethrower KOs. This thing's not as bulky as Ice Rider Calyrex. Another Pile Puff flies through here. We're still above half HP. And I wake up. So Flamethrower's gonna fly. Pick up the KO, please and thank you. Just so I don't have to deal with another Spore. And yeah, Torkoal's getting it done with that Terror type. So there it is, ladies and gentlemen. 1-0 to get things started. Let's go hop into our second match. We got to give a big thanks to, obviously, RNG in that last match. We dodged a high horsepower and a Draco Meteor. That was legit the turning tides of the game there, and we ended up winning, considering I almost sold there. But it's all good. That's a warm-up match anyway. We still grabbed ourselves a win, but we're hopping into our second match, and we're still going up against Ice Rider Calories with Incineroar, Rillaboom, Urshifu, Pelipper, and last but not least, Raging Bolt. So, honestly, Incineroar just seems like a great lead here. Um, they could pop Trick Room. That could be what they want to do here, and I just think Fluttermane is just great here, right? Dodging both fake out users on top of that, being able to taunt their Trick Room user, it just works too well. So I'm going to keep with Fluttermane as our lead, and I think Coridon could be a solid lead. I mean, we could go actually the same squad would be great here. The same squad would be pretty solid here. I mean, I kind of like Walking Wake though, considering it's a fast Pokemon, plus it gets Hydro Steam. That can work well in the rain or the sun. So I mean, Walking Wake could be great. Maybe we just don't go in with Torkoal this game, which I kind of like not going into Torkoal. I could just go Walking Wake and Fluttermane and then bring Executor and yeah, I like that. And then just bring Executor and Coridon in the back end. It seems like our best interest. I mean, we could just go into Psychic Terrain, which would be bad. Maybe actually, dude, that actually sounds great. Psychic Terrain with Executor. We probably should have done it this match, but I just feel like Incineroar has to be a lead, which is why I don't want to go into it, right? I feel like Incineroar has to be a lead. It just has to be. And if we can't stop Trick Room, that'd be a little bit of an issue. So I, I like our lead of Fluttermane. I think Fluttermane's great. And yeah, they're going Calyrex and Urshifu. So, I mean, honestly, Executor could have been good here, but I like this. So we can honestly just taunt this, uh... We can just taunt this, uh... This Calyrex, allow it not to set up Trick Room, if that's what it's going for. And we could go Steel Terror type. We could throw a Moonblast in that slot too. Moonblast's not bad. That's actually a normal Terror type, which really wouldn't help us out here. But I'm still going to go for Taunt into Calyrex. And I think just ripping a Hydra Steam is in our best interest. Hmm. Or I could just Draco Meteor this thing. And save ourselves for later. Yeah, I'm cool with that. I am cool with this. So we're going to end up taunting this Calyrex. We just don't want Trick Room to pop up. Everybody knows Calyrex and Trick Room. It's a big no-no. It just is, does too much work. They're going to force and Terrasalize their Urshifu most likely, right? Into water. No, they're going to go Calyrex here early on. So Calyrex is going to come out here with the Water Terror type, which is totally fine by me. And he might end up detecting Urshifu. So Water Terror comes out from Calyrex. Taunt's going to pop out from us. We're just not allowing Trick Room. We just don't want that out there. So we do that, he's going to end up just going for certain strikes, and we are going to... Are we surviving this? 
It's actually kind of close. This is kind of real close. Survive this. We do. We survive it on 10. I love you. I love you, Flutter. I mean, that's a big time survival there. Jerry Camille is now going to fly. Doing beautiful damage. Getting rid of Urshifu. And show me you're going for Trick Room. Don't go for Glacial Lance. Just don't do that. And that wouldn't be right. Go for Trick Room. Go for Trick Room here. Go for Glacial Lance, man. Oh, here's Soul. All right, so now that, honestly, you terrestrialized into water, it's better for us just to go into Executor here. Maybe Choice into... Maybe just Choice into Expanded Force. I would love to have the Psychic Train here. Psychic Train would have been awesome. He's going to go into Pelper. We're just going to change this weather right off the rip. We could Grass Knot if we want to. And Grass Knot might be in our best interest. We have this thing taunted. We really don't want to do it too much. Honestly, I'm going to go for a Grass Knot here with the Terror. I got to make sure I Terrastalize here. Just so Hurricane doesn't just rip up into me and KO me. I'm going to do that. And I'm just going to hard swap into Crydon and reset our uh, special attack stat on Walking League. So let's swap here. Glacial Lance is looking scary. I'm hoping Grass Knot can do some damage. Because Grass Knot's based on weight, and Calyrex is a heavy, it's an ice horse. Imagine a block of ice the size of a horse. It's got to be like billions of pounds. Not billions of pounds, but you guys know what I'm getting at. It's a withdrawing Calyrex. Don't be Incineroar. Don't be Incineroar. It's going to be Rillaboom. Alright. Rillaboom comes out here. And we're going to Terrastalize into Psychic. And we might want to hard swap our Executor, because we kind of need Executor. We want to win this match. We kind of need Executor if we want to win this match. Executor is going to get that Terra. Kind of wish we had that Psychic Terrain here because honestly, if we had Psychic Terrain, just going into Expanded Force would have just won us the game. Grass Knot's going to fly here, do negative five damage. Actually, a little bit more, about negative six. Weather Ball is going to fly here and he just wants to fire, which is actually a smart call. Going into a Weather Ball like that. Now he's options. I mean, now it's going to be a time for me to reset my choice, I think. Honestly, just keep Executor. I mean, mm, anyone dies, whoever we go into. I'm just going to stay in here. We got some speed. We're going to try to do some damage on the Pelipper. I'll go for Collision Course and the Roll Boom. Are you going to fake out, though? That's the real question. I'm going to fake out the Executor, which is fine. You fake out Executor. We're able to go for a collision course. How much damage is this doing? Can this KO? Can this KO you? Does not. So close. Yet so far. And he's going to finish off my executor with Mother Ball. Okay. Alright. So he finishes me off with Weather Ball. Um, I do have Snarl, which is honestly a solid play for us. Because do I think Snarl can KO the Roll Boom? Oh man, that's cutting it close. That's cutting it real close. I really wanted to. I really wanted to, but I don't know if it can. You do have Grassy God as well. Honestly, just protecting you at this point is in our best interest and just getting rid of Roll Boom. That's what I like the most. Alright, yeah, that's what we gotta do. This Grassy God is just gonna KO my... My what's it called? He ends up with on Pelper. That's fine. This Grassy God just KOs my Walking Wake. They bring out Calyrex here. They're gonna bring back out Pelper for a little bit of weather, which is gonna help him out a lot. And I'm going to have to double down the Ice Rider Kylox, which is getting scary. Alright, so we protect here. Grass Guy's got 100% coming after me, right? Yep, there it is. And we're going to finish off the Rillaboom. So Rillaboom's gone. Pelper comes back out here. Same thing with Kylox. Both at full HP. And we won't have Sun anymore, either. So our big-time physical attack boost is a little rough for us. It's a tad bit rough. And I think our only way of winning this is just... Doubling. Oh, man, this is tough. This is tough. I mean, I feel like we have to double down into Ice Rider Calyrex. I feel like we, it's a must. I feel like it's an absolute must. We don't have Protosynthesis anymore, which was only for speed, correct? Or was it for special attack? Yeah, it was only for speed. And I just feel as we have to go Draco Meteor into a Crunch here. Or a Collision Course actually would do a bit more damage. Crunch could lower defense, but... Collision Course is going to do a bit more damage. So, you know what? We're going to go for Collision Course. The Collision Course is going to fly here. How much damage are we doing with this? Not bad. Can Draco Meteor KO? 
Kind of needed to. I kind of needed to, right? I definitely needed to. And it does not, dude. This Calyrex too bulky for me to handle. Way too bulky for me to handle. And we're going to end up losing this match. Because there goes the Hurricane. See you later. And then Glacial Lance can finish off Karate on no problem. GG's to our opponent. GG's to our opponent. Are you going for Trick Room? I don't think it really matter. I mean, I don't know why you wouldn't just go for Glacial Lance. But yeah, that's game. I don't even have Terra. I don't even have Terra. And now both of you guys are faster than me. All right, I'm just going to run this one. GG's to our opponent. We go one and one up against Ice Rider Calyrex. Let's go hop into our third and final match. Look to use Executor a little bit more and look for that winning record. Final match is on its way, and this is looking like a good sign for us. We're going up against a team with no terrain control, which is absolutely amazing for us. I mean, the only way they could potentially break terrain would be Ice Spinner on Shen Pao. That would be the only way. Do I still lead Indeedy and Executor? I feel like that could be really good for us. We should go in DD Executor. We could potentially just swap. Um, I kind of honestly like going Coridon and and Executor because then I could just swap to in DD. But to be honest, I really just like going into in DD here, just because follow me is gonna be great. Actually, no, we would rather swap into in DD. So that's exactly what we're gonna do here. I'm gonna go Coridon. I'm gonna go Executor as my lead. Go in DD in the back end alongside with either Fluttermane or Walking Wake. And looking at their team. Honestly, Fluttermane is just so powerful, right? I mean, a Pokemon that I do have to kind of worry about is going to be Entei, but I feel like we deal with Entei with the Pokemon that we have. So I'm going to bring Fluttermane here with the booster energy. Look for that winning record. Executor, let's get after it. Hopefully, the one Pokemon that I don't want him leading is going to be Shen Pao. So if they don't lead Shen Pao, we should be sitting in a rather good position. Hopefully. Let's see. No Shen Pao. No Shen Pao. If it is Shen Pao, I mean, I might just stay on the field with Coridon. It is going to be Shen Pao. This hurts the soul, man. This hurts the soul. Do I just stay on the field with Coridon? Got Or Calcum Pulse. They can't outspeed us. Um, I mean, honestly, my executor outspeeds him. My executor does outspeed. I could swap into... I mean, a Fighting Terror is okay. I mean, it doesn't really help us too much. Hmm. I mean, right now, I'm a fast Pokemon. Honestly, we're just going to go Iron Head here in case the Ghost Terror pops out here. I'm going to Terrasalize you, and I'm just going to do Choice to expand it for us. I know I'm not in terrain. But I know we outspeed right now, and I know, or I'm hoping this can do big time damage. Let's see. I'm scared of a lot of things right now. Ice Spinner's looking scary. Moonblast looking scary. I'm hoping Expanded Force can just KO this Fluttermane. Let's see. But I don't even know if we outspeed, especially with Booster Energy. We are double speed right now with Chlorophyll. You're gonna go for you're gonna choose to go for Icy Wind. So Icy Wind's move of choice. That's fine by me. You're gonna slow me down. Iso Crash gonna fly into slot. Can we soak this? We do soak it. Beautiful. I'm able to land Expanded Force and Iron Head. How much damage Expanded Force doing? It's not KOing, but I like that damage output. Iron Head can now fly and sash you up. Okay, so we're a little bit slower here. Um, Huh. I'm going to leave Coridon on field. I'm going to swap Executor into Indeed here. So we're just protecting Karate on here. I'm getting Indeedy out and about. I mean, Indeedy's going to be good because I can follow me some shots. But if I had to guess, you probably have Dazzle Gleam. But I'm able to Psychic Seed on. So if you KO my Karate on, no big deal. I can just bring out Fluttermane, who can outspeed it a lot. I mean, you're not going to KO my Karate on because of Protect, but I like having this train out on the field. AC Wind's going to follow through here, which is good news for... Uh, so I mean, you're slowing down in DD, doesn't really do too much. If I had to guess, you'd probably double down into Cryon, right? It would make the most sense. The speed drop comes out here, Ice Soak Crash gonna try to fly. Um, hmm. Who would I rather get rid of? I think Shen Pao. I think I'd rather just get rid of Shen Pao. So I'm gonna do that, and honestly, I'm just doubling down to Shen Pao. I'm just gonna double down to Shen Pao. He's gonna end up taunting me. This is a fine move for us just to double down in Shen Pao here. 
That's fine. So we're going to make sure Shen Pao goes out here. He is going to probably take out my Karate on here, most likely. Yeah, go on. And by getting rid of Shen Pao here, I mean, I can bring out Sekidor, who should outspeed F at minus one. Actually, no, it doesn't. It doesn't. I think we learned that last time. He tried going for an attack, and he just icy wind us. I mean, bringing out my Fluttermane is going to be in my best interest. I'm going to bring out my Fluttermane. I can't follow me, which is a little tough news for us. But I mean, my Fluttermane should be able to get some speed cooking. Let's see what they go into. They're going to go, go into Ogre Pond. So I like where we're sitting. If I can just get out my Executor with Expanding Force. So from here, we're just going to go for Moonblast. We really just want to take out this Pokemon and... Obviously, we're just going to go have to go for Shadow Ball. I mean, I could actually just Shadow Ball you. And maybe just Moonblast you. And I think that's in my, my best interest here. So I'm going to go Moonblast into you. I'm going to go Shadow Ball into you. I doubt you Terrasilize Fluttermane. You protect. Oh, I really need to get rid of Fluttermane. I really need to get rid of Fluttermane. So we're going to have to double down into it next turn. So Moonblast is going to fly here. Do half damage, which is gorgeous. Special attack drop. Don't matter. He's going to go for an Ivy Cudgel into Fluttermane, who should sub. Awesome. So now, 100%, we're doubled out into Fluttermane, because I need to get rid of Fluttermane. I need to get rid of Fluttermane. How many turns are left in terrain? Two. That honestly sucks. What's your speed? What is your speed, Fluttermane? 2-0... Five. You know what? Yeah, you are as fast as they, they come. So, you know what? Honestly, that doesn't help us. We, we, we just have to double down the floor in here. I was going to say, I might swap into Executor. It's going for a follow me. Oh, man. Flutter man, you should outspeed. Yeah, so this should KO you. Beautiful. And that Fluttermane has to be going after my Fluttermane. Maybe Dazzle Gleam here. Ice Wing. That's fine. That's fine, because I'm going to KO you. I actually survive, and Executor can win this match, no problem. Executor can win this match, no problem. Right? Executor with that Psychic type. I mean, mm, without the Sun, it won't outspeed. This is going to be rather closer than I think it is, or I think it should be. But I mean, Sun's going to be right back, because they're bringing right out Coridon. Radon's coming right out here, and that's gonna—is it gonna be game? No, they still have Terra, so they're gonna terrestrialize that guy. And I shake off Taunt, which is massive. Oh yeah, we got this match, no problem. We got this match now. We got this match now. Yep, there's Coridon. We should be fine here, because I could just spam follow me. See what he's gonna terrestrialize into. Maybe steal, maybe fighting. You never know. And I think our best interest is to just go. We could honestly Thunder Wave him, but Moon Blast him for damage right now in our best interest. So I'm going to go follow me. I'm going to go Moonblast. And we'll see what his Terror type is. We shall see what his Terror type is. Yep, there's Terror. It's most likely Steel. This match here was all over the place. I feel like they were swapping in and out. We were thinking a lot. And it's going to be a Fire Terror type. I mean, if I can get off some damage here. Bring out Executor. Hit this thing with Psychic. That could be good. Chance our Flare Blitz gonna fly through your range KO and whoever he touches. Yep, there goes Flare Blitz. And you're out speeding my Flutter Man. You're out speeding my Flutter Man. You choice? You gotta be choice. You gotta be choice. You have got to be choice. You have got to be choice. I do have Ancient Power, which is good. And honestly, what's going to do more damage? Psychic or Ancient Power? Probably Psychic. Probably Psychic. Now, the real question is, are you outspeeding my Executor? Yeah, you're going to outspeed my Executor. You outspeed my Executor. This is terrible. How do you outspeed both my Pokemon? I'm gonna throw a Thunder Wave into this thing. You outspeed both my Pokemon, which is crazy. I'm gonna go for a Psychic here as well. This thing's choice all day. Actually, no. How did it outspeed my Fluttermane last turn? 
I'm very confused, but we'll KO with that. Okay, that works. I'm so confused, but hey, we'll take this win all day. We're 2-1. Nice little winning record for today's video. Don't worry, ladies and gentlemen, your boy figured out the speed problem at the end of match number three. I didn't take into consideration Fluttermane was actually minus one due to their other Fluttermane sending an Icy Wind a turn before. I don't know why I forgot about that, but that made Fluttermane slower than their Coridon, making them Flare Blitzar and DD, and then Executor outspeeding the Coridon at the end, giving us a big time win for a 2-1 winning record. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live seriously you guys rock out make sure you spread positivity day and i'll catch you on the next one peace out everybody